we know COVID-19 can attack the heart, damaging your heart muscle and causing blood clots. Do not ignore your symptoms. We are here to answer your questions and help protect your heart. Don't delay. Your safe care is our priority. The reason I'm here today is basically to send out the message to the community that it is important to take care of your health even in, during this COVID pandemic and reach out for your doctors for help and not avoid the healthcare system in fear of COVID. So I wanna get the message across that please reach out to your pro healthcare providers and get your healthcare needs met. Have I seen any patients with COVID-19? Yes, um, I work at Northeast Baptist Hospital, which actually was the COVID central for all the critically ill patients from COVID for the Baptist health system. So I was involved in their care and we were involved in most of the sick patients in the beginning of this pandemic, yes. The main concerns of patients regarding COVID-19 is what is their risk from this virus? What are their risks of getting COVID and what are their risk of their prognosis if they get COVID? And most of the patients do fine with COVID-19. As we already know, 90% of the patients who get COVID have very mild symptoms and actually do well. They don't even need hospitalization. It's just the 10% of the patients who need hospitalization. And even there, only one, total only 1% 1 die. So it is a virulent pathogen, but most patients still do better if we take the right precautions. What does COVID-19 do for the heart? Uh, that's a good question. I'm a cardiologist and I deal with that. It does affect the heart, especially in the patients who are really sick. The patients with mild symptoms do not have much of cardiac involvement, but the patients with moderate, and especially the severe symptoms, the patients who are in the ICU, they have what we call as myocarditis. It's like the inflammation of the heart muscle caused by the virus directly and causes severe heart failure where uh, their heart is not functioning well. And it also affects the electrical system of the heart where we have seen that it causes a lot of bradycardia, i.e. slow heart rate and rhythm disturbances. But the most common thing we have seen is the myocarditis and patients have had heart attacks with it because the main thing that we have learned over this last four months is patients with COVID tend to have blood clots and these blood clots cause heart attacks and strokes. Uh, so that's another thing we have seen a lot of that. So how does COVID cause all these blood clots? I think we still are in the process of learning how it actually triggers, but we have at least narrowed it down that these patients are at very high risk for forming blood clots everywhere in the body. There is no specific site saying it's the heart, brain, or it. They form blood clots all over the body. Uh, for, they get clots in the legs, they get clots thrown to the lungs, to the brain, and of course to the heart causing heart attacks. I don't think we really clear have an understanding how it triggers it, but we know that it does trigger. And the cornerstone of treating COVID-19 patients now is every patient who's getting admitted to the hospital are fully anticoagulated. They are on blood thinners to prevent this from happening. So what is the average profile for patients getting sick from COVID? Our initial uh, understanding from in the beginning of the pandemic was it was people who are over 60 years old and had comorbidities, mainly diabetes, heart problems, and kidney problems. Those were the ones which tend to get more sicker and getting hospitalized. But unfortunately, we have seen even younger patients get admitted and get sick and even die. We have seen patients in the age 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s also be in the ICU and actually die from this. But the predominant percentage of patients who get sick are people over 60 with diabetes, heart problems, and kidney problems. Recommendations for COVID-19 and heart. Um, the best thing, again, it goes back to saying practice social distancing, masks, and washing hands, and prevent this. Um, that's the best thing you can do. Because once you get infected with COVID-19, unfortunately, there's not much we can do to prevent the cardiac involvement because uh, it is just the nature of the infection it is. And we are not too far into the pandemic to actually even know what is the long-term prognosis of these patients. We are learning as we go. Um, I have quite a few patients who have severely depressed heart function from this COVID-19, uh, but I have no idea how the heart function is gonna do because we are still in the process of following them. Best thing is prevention again, goes back to that. 